We're here downtown Toronto where Trudeau wanted to make an announcement and with a couple activists that wanted to raise an issue with him. So how'd that go? Um, well, so we are youth divestment campaigners and we've been campaigning in universities across Canada to call for fossil fuel divestment. Um, and basically, today as Prime Minister Trudeau walked in, we interrupted yelling, stop climate change, stop energy east. And of course, we weren't really received, um, there was no interaction, and that's not really much of a surprise, unfortunately, because Prime Minister Trudeau has really begun his new term with a legacy of ignoring youth voices. This is what he did at Climate Welcome when we were there welcoming him during his first four days in in office as Prime Minister, giving him presence um, to talk about climate issues. Um, we were there in Paris as a Canadian youth delegation talking about climate issues and climate justice um, and what it means to young people across Canada. Um, again, he did not meet with us, he ignored our voices. So this is a third time um, and this is similar things have happened while he was on the campaign trail as well. So unfortunately not much of a surprise, but we did get a chance to have our voices heard and he should know that he cannot simply ignore messages about climate justice um, and can't continue to um, proceed with processes for, um, for reviewing pipelines that are so starkly opposed by civil society, by indigenous peoples, and that have such huge repercussions for the climate. So what specific issues were you aiming to call awareness to today? So for example, I'm someone who voted strategically for the Liberals, hoping that they would do fulfill promises such as having climate impacts included in the National Energy Board. Instead, we're seeing Trudeau is grandfathering the Energy East Pipeline under Stephen Harper's National Energy Board that doesn't include climate in its definition of the environment. So we want to talk to him about that. Um, we want to ask him how he, why he is doing this when excluding climate from the National Energy Board means Canada will be unable to fulfill its terms under the Paris Climate Agreement. If we're going to stay below 1.5, Energy East can't be built and the clearest way to see that it can't be built is to look at the climate impacts it's going to have.